Hey everyone, welcome back to the Holy Comforter Episcopal Church YouTube Bible Study. Today we're looking at Mark chapter 4, verses 26 through 34, for Sunday, June 13th. I'm Jimmy Abbott, the priest here at Holy Comforter in Spring, and let's get after it. Now, when you start reading that passage, you'll see that it's a couple of parables that Jesus gives to his disciples. And there's even a section there at the end of our passage that talks about why Jesus teaches in parables. And admittedly, some of these parables are dense, they're confusing, they don't really seem to make sense. There are obviously contextual issues going on that we in the 21st century simply don't understand about a first century society. However, I think that Mark is being really clever here in his use of rhetoric and language. So rather than beating us over the head and telling us exactly what he wants us to know, Mark lets things be a little bit more ambiguous. It's almost as if we're embarking on some sort of puzzle or mystery. And I don't know about you, but when I've had an aha moment to myself, when something has dawned upon me, when I have finally put the pieces together for myself, I've taken ownership of that knowledge in a much more deep way. I think that is what is going on here with Mark's rhetoric. He's not going to just tell us what Jesus is trying to say. Mark is going to leave it a little bit more, like I said, ambiguous so that we can put it together for ourselves and have that aha moment. We're going to encounter this all throughout the Gospel of Mark. There is this other theme called the Messianic Secret. This is when ever somebody says, oh, Jesus, you must be the Messiah. And he says, oh, don't tell anyone. I think it's partially because Jesus wants people to figure it out for themselves. And so I wonder about you in your own life of discipleship. When have you figured something out for yourself? What was that aha moment for you? How did you come about that realization? And how has that knowledge shaped and transformed your own life? I'd love to hear from you and hear some of your reflections on that. And as we read these parables this Sunday, I invite you to just dwell in the mystery and in the ambiguity of it and invite the Holy Spirit into your heart and into your soul and into your head so that you may also have that aha moment of realization. As always, I encourage you to subscribe here to the Holy Comforter YouTube channel, and you can always watch another video right here. Thank you.